Hello YouTube, today we are going to do a demonstration of Craftsman News Elf Adjustable Wrench. The package says it has like 52 different combinations or ways in which this thing can go. It's a pretty neat looking wrench. Um, it does swivel, but I ran into a problem today while trying to remove a power steering hose and those of you who know that those things can be a pain in the tail, especially when you can't reach it. Now this little piece here flips open and supposedly grabs whatever fastener you need to turn. So, all right, we're gonna try this thing out here. Just wanna lock it into position. Simply by pushing that button down. And that's gonna give me the you know the torque angle that I need. Now the project that we're working on is a 92 Ford Taurus. Great car, has a 3.0 motor in it. However, the power steering configuration is kind of weird because it comes from here, down below the motor, over, around the transaxle, back, and then it curves around and goes into the power steering rack. Or the rack and pinion. So we're gonna crawl up in here and we're gonna take a look at this thing. If I can film and work at the same time. Now, if you can see, let me see if I can position the light good here first and then we'll get started. Alright, so as you can see, uh, where are we? Oh, maybe you can't see. But to give you an idea, we are way down on the bottom here. And this light is just a little bit too bright for this camera. <sighs> okay. Can you see that? No. Still can't see it, can we? Let's see. There it is. You see the little nut in the circle there. All right, so let's get busy with this wrench and see if this wrench makes my job easier, like they say it will. Okay. All right. Listen, let me put the wrench on the not here. Which it automatically adjusts to the size, provided it can hold the size. And then, can you see that? Okay, there, you see the handle of the tool there. And if you look to the front, you can see the tool here. And it's actually gripped around the fastener. I don't know if you, how good you can tell that. Let's see if we can get some stuff out of the way here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it down there, all right. As you can see, I'm turning. Oh, there's another wire in the way. Let's disconnect that so you can really see. All right, now. Wow, there you go. You got a good view of it now. Now, as you can see, we have the tool. And we'll just turn it and see if it does what it claims to do.
so far so good other than the light. Yeah. Actually, we'll slide around the wing nut or banjo bolt or whatever this thing's called. I don't even have to remove the wrench from the fitting, from the hose fitting, which as you can know, if you do this with a regular open end or box end wrench, you got to continually adjust and it's hard to get it back on there exactly right. This wrench, oh, I just slipped it off. Got too excited there. All right, and look. It is. It's off. Look at that. Again, this is the Crass, Craftsman's new wrench. Let me pull it up here in the light so you can really see it. Yeah. Craftsman. I bought this at Sears today. It was a kit. Came with a one this size that covers um, the size ratings on here is a half inch to three quarters of an inch or 12 millimeter to 19 millimeter. And there's that ratcheting head. Let me lock it in place here. But anyway, there's that ratcheting head. Once you lock it in place, like so, and you stick that on your fastener, this will open up and catch hold to it. Uh, here we go, prime example. So, this is basically what we did here. It's locked on, and I can now tighten or loosen that bolt as needed. I think they've actually come up with a good product, good tool that we mechanics or home or, or 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 home project enthusiasts can really deal with. I'm going to go ahead and put the new hose on and we'll talk with you later.